Welcome, 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 TBW Clips. I am Tyson today, today. So we all went over um, Trump's trial. So now let's find out what's going on with Hunter Biden. I think uh, his trial is about um, possessing uh, a firearm illegally. So this is coming from, uh, you know, liberals, Democrats. They want stiff... Um, regulations on guns um here you have somebody who has uh acquired uh weapons illegally i think um like most people would say it's the people wielding the gun that's the problem right so those who are in possession of illegal guns should face harsh penalties especially from districts, counties, states, cities who want to um, tighten the gun laws because of too many deaths, right, due to guns. So it only makes sense that if you have an illegal gun, you should do harsh time. But that's not what we're seeing in a lot of these cities. A lot of people on gun charges get released within 24 hours, same day. Next day, not harsh penalties at all, when those need to be the penalties, not penalize um, uh, gun owners, you know, who have done nothing wrong, right? So let's take a look at this. I know it's long <laughs> intro, right? What's going on? Now to the gripping trial of the president's son, Hunter Biden. His former romantic partner took the stand, detailing how she says she found a gun in the younger Biden's truck and frantically threw it away at a nearby grocery store in October of 2018. ABC's M. Wen shows the cross-examination regarding Hunter's... So, guess they're driving along and she sees a gun and throws it out? Why? To protect him? Keep going here. Drug use around the time he's accused of obtaining a gun illegally. Graciela Dale, this marks the first time a child of a sitting president has ever faced a criminal trial. Hunter Biden pleaded not guilty last October. New testimony in Hunter Biden's trial out of Delaware. A key witness, Bo Biden's widow and Hunter Biden's former romantic partner, Hallie Biden, saying how she, quote, went to clean out his car on October 23, 2018, and found a gun. She said she panicked and used a pouch in his truck, which the prosecution says later tested positive to having cocaine in it, to conceal the gun before frantically throwing it out in a trash at a nearby grocery store. Jurors in court were shown surveillance. So she went to clean out his car because she suspected he might have drugs. And while cleaning out the car, she found a gun. Okay. Because he legally obtained this gun by falsifying uh, documents to obtain it, saying that he's no longer, you know, doing drugs. He's clean. I think those were the... Um, falsified uh, documents that uh, he put forth, right? So you can't own a gun if you, you're you on drugs or you have any kind of uh, mental issues. Most states, right? And I would think that that would want the Democrats would want to happen, right? Tougher gun laws, harder for people, law-abiding citizens to purchase a weapon. <clears throat> Their laws right there are supposed to um, come into play. So they should be all for this. Video from that market dated 11 days after Hunter Biden allegedly obtained the firearm illegally. At the heart of the case, whether the president's son was using drugs at the time of the gun purchase. He's charged with two counts of lying on a federal form and one count of unlawfully obtaining a firearm while using drugs. 
Prosecutors zeroing in on how Hallie Biden described Hunter Biden as tired and exhausted and that he, quote, could have been on drugs. That's why she said she tried to clean out his car so they could start anew. But the defense tried to poke holes in the case, saying no witness. See, so she thought he was on drugs, so she tried to get rid of the evidence for what? So something had to have been going on during that time. Maybe somebody was going to uh, search the vehicle or something like that. 2018, I think they were starting to do some investigations because of his dealings with uh, Ukraine, right? All right, this is... Uh, this is... Uh, Eye-opening. Because they could have... Because this is right up uh, Democrats' alley, right? You can't have a firearm if you're on drugs and stuff like that. She tried to take the drugs out. I don't know if it was for him to purchase a weapon. But she saw the weapon and tried to get rid of the evidence. On drugs. That's why she said she tried to clean out his car so they could start anew. But the defense tried to poke holes in the case, saying no witness has confirmed Hunter Biden was using during that month. Today, the gun store clerk who sold Hunter Biden the firearm testified that younger Biden did not exhibit any symptoms of drug or alcohol use. Hunter Biden's attorneys underscoring how he... Should that matter? Okay, so he... I don't understand. So... <laughs> I don't know how it works as far as showing proof that you're on drugs or not on drugs. Um, so I don't know how she, they're saying that he didn't use any drugs that month. So because he didn't use any drugs that month, he did not lie on his form saying that he was a drug addict. I'm not sure you guys help me out down in the, down in the comments. Yeah, that doesn't make any He had just finished rehabilitation and may not have thought of himself as an addict and therefore did not knowingly lie on the federal form which asked, are you an unlawful user of or addicted to various narcotics? So he just got out of treatment and because he just got out of treatment, he says that he is not addicted to any kind of of narcotics or drugs um, so because he just got out he didn't know that he was lying on his form that's the argument that is the defense um, it's sad to say but I don't know what uh, I don't know what political party the judge is from depending on that he would walk or not walk. It's sad to say that our judicial system, everything is based off of your political party right now. So if the judge is a uh, Democrat leaning, I think he gets off. If he's, uh, if the judge, he or her is Republican leaning, I think maybe he'll face justice. Uh, that's my take. I could be wrong. Yeah, you know, I, I doubt it. Uh, if I am, let me know down in the comments. And I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. And you guys have a great day.